Today I'm going to show you a free live body cam script created by Big Bang Studios. This resource lets you watch other players' POVs through interactive monitor stations. By default, it includes two pre-configured stations, one designed for government or job use, and another open for free use. You can also add as many stations as you want with full customization options for the UI color and style variants to fit your server. Use the resource link in the description to check out all the features and watch the preview. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Here you can watch a preview, see the features and compatibility, along with war information. So add it to the basket and proceed with the checkout options. After that, go to your keymaster and into the granted assets section. Then find BBS body cam and download it. Once it's done, open it up. And open your server resources, then add it in. Then go to your server config and ensure it. The installation steps are in the download. So open the installation folder and I'll start with the images. There are two, so copy both inside. Then follow the path for your inventory. And then paste them in. Then go back to the installation folder and open the document for the items. These are in the aux inventory format. The format for QB will be in the description. Once you have the items copied, follow the correct path for your inventory once again. After you've added the items, go back to the installation folder and open the installation MD. And there is a link to live kit, so go ahead and click it. And once there, select click building to make an account and sign in. There are a few steps and things you'll have to click. After you've created the account, go to the settings section and click API keys. Then click the one generated. This is the information you'll need to copy, so leave it open for now and go back to the BBS body cam folder. Into the server folder. And open the server JS. At the top is where you'll need to add the information, so go back and copy the URL, then go back and paste, then repeat the process and copy the API key, and do it one more time with the API secret, so go back and click reveal secret, copy this one here, and paste it in. The last thing to look at is the config, so back to the body cam folder and open it up. The first options are for auto-filling empty monitors, the debug, and the notification system. And for that, the supported options are in the comment out text, along with information to add your own. Then there's the station spawn distance and options for the streamer UI with color and position, followed by the default station. For those who have the location, if it's job-based, the supported jobs and grades, the title, whether or not to use name or call sign, who has control access, and the UI color for the stream. One is job-based and one is not, so you can use that as a template to create more based on what you want for your server. Next are options for the items you can enable or disable item use and they are separated based on job association and for use. Below that are options to use a command instead of the item, again separated with the command name for each, so enable if you wish. Next is the draw text option. You can choose between options in the commented out text or leave it set to auxlib. And below that are options for the draw text. You can enable or disable, choose the keybind and text displayed. The last things in here are the stream settings and locales. If you made changes, be sure to save them, then start your server and test it out. If this video was helpful, consider supporting my work by ordering a VPS or transferring your current one of one of one servers using the link below. Created by the team behind Project Soft, one of one service is a top VPS provider for popular 5M servers delivering unmatched uptime and performance. They offer the best DDoS protection, super fast 10 gigabit per second internet speed, and exceptional support via Discord and tickets with 96% of tickets answered in under 30 minutes. With locations in Dallas, Ashburn, Chicago, and Europe, they ensure low latency and top tier reliability. So I'm at the job base station and I'll turn the body cam on by using the government issued item. Notification lets you know it's been activated and the overlay pops up with the title and the person's name and call sign. It's also displayed here on the screen. And when you access the control menu, it will show you which monitor is active. And from there, you can see whose POV is currently displayed. Focus on the screen and reset the monitor, uh, which turns it off. In the main monitor section, you can click each one and select the person from the list to display their body cam on the screen. So I'll just choose this one. 
and there it is there, and of course, with more units, the list will be longer. Now I'm at the general one. When players activate the commercial body cam, they need to enter the station IP. This can be found by entering the control menu and copying the address from the top. The station IP is set in the config, and if two stations have the same IP, players will stream to both stations. So I'll go ahead and activate the body cam again, paste the IP, and just enter a name here. Once they do that, the POV will show on the screen, as well as the overlay, which looks a bit different from the job-based one. When you go back into the control menu, the options are the same. You can see the current POV, reset the monitor, and focus on the screen. So I'll go ahead and turn that off. And that'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.